Okay, hello everyone. We're gonna make a simple Christmas tree shape today. So I'm get my clay centered. And since this is gonna be a taller form, I'm gonna start with a narrow base. So I'm gonna squeeze my base in. Push this down, make a nice flat top, open up. All right, now when we're opening up for a Christmas tree, going to be hollowing out the bottom anyway so you can make the bottom pretty thin so you don't have to trim too much okay so hollow out stretch the bottom floor out nice and flat and even right move all that clay at the bottom to the outer wall okay going to compress my cylinder right now i'm going to squeeze it up right i'm going to take my Outer hand, apply pressure, brace on the inside. Squeeze it up. All right. Whenever we're making cylinders, are we pushing back towards the center, making sure your rim doesn't flare open, right before you're ready for it. Okay. I want it to become a vase shape or anything. You want it to remain a cylinder. I'm gonna fix that buckle right there. Clay is very soft. I like to throw really soft, so sometimes I pull a little too aggressively. But it should be fine. I'll dry out my inside. I'm just gonna even this out a little. Get rid of that buckle. Okay, continue to pull over here. Okay, so I'm gonna start forming my shape right, for a tree. Okay, I'm just gonna get the bottom area taken care of, we're gonna make it pretty even. All right, so we're gonna start collaring, right? So collaring clay, right? And you're gonna use um, a little water on the surface. You don't want it to stick. You're gonna start from, you know, the middle section, right? And gradually work your way to the top, right? Making sure it doesn't stick. If it sticks a little, add a little water. Work its way towards the top, squeezing, right? Or Collaring, also known as choking, right? Think about the neck of a vessel, right? So you, I'm gradually squeezing, right, with my fingers, but as I get towards the tip, I'm not using my whole hand, I'm just using my fingertips, right? All right, I'm gonna shape this up a little more, more of a diamond-like shape, or tear, big teardrop. As you collar, Right, the clay at the top becomes a little thicker, so you could stretch it to be a little taller. Okay. Again, I'm gonna do this. Collar, bring it up. Okay. And once you have the top closed and there's air trapped inside, you can push in certain areas, right? And the, be careful, because the air will be dispersed in other areas, all right? Uh, but the form will hold itself up. Now that it's sealed, all the air is trapped inside. All right, so I'm just gonna smooth out my surface. All right, make it pretty easy, evenly. A nice, gradual cone. And I'm gonna go with a rib tool and I'm gonna create my design pattern. Right, tree-like design patterns with a rib tool. Now you could create ridges with your fingers. Um, I'm keeping this one pretty simple. Right, we're just going to create a nice little line pattern. Right, and I'll leave my throw lines in there. I kind of like. I don't mind them. Right, what we're going to use is a let's say kind of a rounded off corner of a wooden rib tool. Right, and I'm going to make sure it's clean for now. Right, I may clean it off halfway through. We'll see what happens, right? But I'm gonna use an angle, right? As the clay pulls away from me, I'm not gonna gouge directly in. I'm gonna slant it. I'm gonna start up here, counterbalance, right? Slow the wheel down a little. So I wanna get a lot of repetitious lines in here. Um, I'm gonna start here. I kind of want them to be sporadic and unplanned. So I'm bouncing my hand, right? up and down, and sometimes a little faster than other times. 
all right, to cause, uh, create more uh, sporadic patterns. I'll go all the way down to my base, all right. All right, so there we go, very kind of playful, right? You see there's a lot of frayed edges on this now, right? I'm gonna take a nice, soft, clean sponge, right? I'm gonna go over my, my edges. Go over all the edges, clean, right? This may take a little time, right? So I don't wanna push the material back in. I wanna take the material off, make sure everything is nice and clean and even. If I wanted to accentuate any areas, I right, could simply, I use the back of my finger or side of my finger right, to really get that crease in place. Right? right now the clay is very soft. All right, so I'm gonna allow this some time to set up right after I clean it off. Right? And then I'll just hand trim the bottom. And there's a few ways to decorate a Christmas tree or a holiday tree. Um, I could create little ornaments, little beads to put on it or actual ornaments, like little shapes of um, gingerbread men or birds. Um, and think about what you have on your tray and try to create miniature versions of those ornaments, right? You can also create holes, right? Create openings and open the bottom, uh, create a little dish for it to sit on and it could become a candle votive. Okay. Nice gift idea, right? So like any piece, I'm gonna trim some of the excess clay from the bottom, give it an undercut, right? So I could remove it from the wheel, all right? But there you go, simple cone-like Christmas tree. Hope everyone enjoyed. Have a great day, subscribe and like. Thank you.